Now, justice, and a lot of people say, well, what about justice? People should get their just desserts. Well, Jesus dealt with all that. So there is no just dessert other than forgiveness. And he's already chosen to forgive everyone, love and hold no record of wrongs. So is it just for God to separate people from himself eternally? If Jesus died for everyone and Jesus took away the lost identity of the world and God reconciled everyone to himself, which is what the Bible says, then eternal separation can't be true justice. Because what need would there be for eternal separation when God is already reconciled? So there are so many situations that don't seem fair, even to us, if separation is forever. So it doesn't seem fair that certain people would separate it that they never even heard. Those unfortunate souls who were born in all those different cultures who sincerely worshipped all those false gods and never heard the gospel. What about them? Is it fair they should be separated because they never heard? Ah, oh, well, they don't have an excuse because nature itself gives them that. Then you've got people from other religions and other sects, Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, who strive to do good works but were deceived by religion. New Age seekers speaking, seeking spiritual light. And oh, they were all sincerely wrong, so just tough luck. Now, ultimately, I believe God's love overcomes all these issues because Jesus has dealt with everyone and everything which is a hindrance and an obstacle. So imagine a God who would reject those people, sending them to hell for eternity with no possibility of escape. Would you want to know him? The toughest, meanest, most hate-filled earthly judge wouldn't find a kernel conscious torment a just sentence, I don't believe. Because they're looking for justice. And when they looked at someone's already paid the penalty for the crime, they've already taken death, then what purpose would there be to punish people when death was the issue in the first place? Now, we can't use just use our own reasoning to determine what is fair or not, because various people might consider different things fair or not. So we have to see justice and fairness through the lens of love, through the life of Jesus, the living word, who is the express image of God. What did Jesus in his mystery, ministry on earth and in his death, burial and resurrection, resurrection and ascension, what do they show us? What they show us is what is righteous, just and fair, because Jesus nailed every accusation to the cross and dealt with every hindrance or obstacle he already reconciled everybody and he's already made everyone righteous and he's already made everyone just justified in other words just if they never sinned in the first place so what punishment could there be no there are consequences if you choose to accept not accept because you live outside of the blessing but god isn't going to punish you for that he's just going to continue to work to bring you into the tr truth 